Hi, Jamie Chappie, Mayor of Gunnedah Shire Council. I'm here with Eric Groff, the General Manager of uh, our Great Shire. So this organisation is a considerable size. How many employees do we have? So we've got roughly 200 employees, or 175 full-time equivalent employees. So Eric, uh, tell me, what what is the most rewarding part of being the General Manager? The greatest sense of achievement I get working in the organisation is seeing our staff achieving uh, great outcomes for the community so, uh, and, and the sense of satisfaction that we see our staff getting from those achievements. It's, it's sometimes forgotten that council's not just a, a building or a, a place where the greatest park. It, it's made up of uh, some, hundred to, some 200 odd people that are actually members of our community and those people turn up today every work wanting to do the best thing for their family and the best thing, thing for the place uh, that they live in. Uh, so my greatest sense of achievement is facilitating that on a day-to-day -day basis and supporting those people achieve their, their, their dreams, basically. What do you see as the, the challenges and opportunities for Gunnar? Challenges for me, I would think, uh, really, it's almost about population uh, for me. It's about uh, the amount of jobs that are available in our community which is rare, I know, for regional and rural uh, councils throughout Australia to be on a growth pattern, but we certainly are. Uh, I, I think we are struggling because of underpopulation to fill some of those positions. So what does a day in the life of a mayor involve? Well, that's a great question. Uh, you can start the day thinking it means one thing and it can mean something completely different by the end of the day. And what would you say are some of your most rewarding experiences in your time as mayor? Being able to get an outcome. From, from a dream, from a thought, delivering it all the way through to an outcome that you know will have a major effect in our community and on the lives of people that live in our community. And that's what drives me and that's what excites me. You can be um, critical of other people and decisions and directions they may go on, but without putting your hand up and, and saying, well, look, I'd like to, I'd like to have some influence and, and have an opportunity to represent our community, then you'll never be able to affect change. So look, that's what I've done. That's the reason that I've done it. I, I uh, absolutely love Canada and I'm sure I'll see my days out here in this great community. Uh, I guess outside of work, uh, first and foremost, I'm a, I'm a family family person and uh, a community person. So I was, I was born in Canada some 47 years ago and I've spent about 38 years of my life uh, in Canada. Um, I was in an accounting profession prior to that, a local accounting firm, and, uh, and since 1997 in local government. Uh, so I, I do tend to breathe and live local government, but uh, at the end of the day, um, whilst there's a, a, a very uh, passionate purpose there for me, uh, it's all ultimately to fulfil the, you know, the dreams and visions of um, having a family and, and helping your, your family through uh, everything that families face in a in a community.